There is no more powerful signal to the universe that great art is going to happen than a man with an acoustic guitar lighting a candle, specifically a, a balsam forest candle. So you know it's serious. Why is it so serious? Because I have a cool opportunity where uh, Performer Magazine has asked me to contribute a song to their yearly mixtape. It's really cool. They like actually print out legit cassettes and just put original music on them and then distribute them. So they asked me for like a produced track and I've got some other stuff that I could use, but I decided, hey, this would be a great opportunity to maybe just do a track from beginning to end. So today what we're gonna do in this video is just make a song, make some music. I'm gonna do like a full production. So it's gonna start with acoustic guitar. We're gonna have drums, we're gonna have electric guitars. Clearly, no other company on earth is better suited to sponsor this video than Sweetwater. And Earthworks microphones. They're gonna be using all Earthworks microphones. Uh, I've developed quite a collection of these mics. We're gonna go over each of them because every kind of source is gonna have a different mic to kind of use. So thank you to Sweetwater, thank you to Earthworks. All the stuff will be listed with an affiliate link in the description. But let's get to it. I am going to track uh, one of my original songs called Reflex. Now, you may have heard this song before. I've played it live uh, in a bunch of different videos, uh, semi-recently. And I think this is kind of like a cool song for this because I have not yet completely produced it. I think it's something that would sound good with drums. Maybe it doesn't, maybe I'll scrap it all by the end, but at the very least, we're gonna find out how this goes. And then uh, again, we'll, we'll see how it sounds. If you guys have questions on the mixing, I might do a follow-up video on how I'm kind of like mixing and putting all this stuff together. But this is just gonna be tracking the instruments. I'm gonna start with acoustic guitar. Uh, but first I'm gonna set up a project in Logic. First I decided on the tempo. How I usually do that, I just have like an app on my phone that has uh, a metronome. And then I'll just start playing it uh, until I find the right, uh, what I feel like is the right tempo for the song. And then I'll build the project at that. This looks to be about 210 beats per minute. Uh, of course, it is gonna be in 3-4 because, like I said, I lit a forest-scented candle, so clearly 3-4 is gonna be the vibe. Let's try it out. All right, so first things first, I have to lay down the actual acoustic guitar part. This is a song that was written on acoustic guitar. Uh, the best way to do that is I open up Logic Project, and then I opened up a drum program and just drew in a super simple drum beat that I can track to, okay? Uh, the problem with this is sometimes you'll hear like a little bit of a bleed through the microphones. So I actually have this mic'd up with two of the Earthworks SR25s, which I have found to be uh, just my, my favorite of their microphones, great for all purpose. I'm gonna be using it on a lot of stuff actually. And uh, we're just gonna do a stereo uh, XY technique thing where I have like the capsules kind of like pointed right at each other uh, to a spot. Mm -hmm. And this final track might actually not make it into the final mix. I just kind of need this to, to build the whole track around it. So I'm pretty familiar with the structure of this thing. I just have this drum loop to, to loop infinitely. So let's get it down and then maybe we'll keep some of it. Maybe we won't, but I do know that it's gonna sound great because I've used these Earthwork, Earthworks audio uh, microphones on a lot of different things. So I know it's gonna sound good. Let's do it. All right, last thing I wanna mention is these are going into a stereo preamp, uh, Neve 1073, and then that is just going right into my Apollo interface. So now I have all that recorded and I color coded it so I know like, you know, this is the intro, this is the verse, chorus, similar intro. There's really not a huge amount of method that goes into which colors I choose, but uh, it's just gonna help me out when I'm tracking the drums because I can kind of see it from way over there by the drum kit. All right, so I got that down. I'm gonna put an actual drum kit track on top of this. So miking up the drums, that's what everybody wants to know about because it's always kind of difficult, but not with these. So now I have the SR25s 
as overheads left and right. Uh, and I also am going to use this for the snare top and bottom. This is the DM20. The great thing about this is the clips, okay? I've used a lot of clips before. This is superior. I don't want to name the company that I used to use, but it used to be something like this, where it has this like spring-loaded thing that you kind of like sneak under like the, the hardware and then it clips in. But every time I take it off, I always jam my fingers into the actual rim shot of the snare, which is very painful. So this is cool because it just has like a, a mechanism that you just tighten on and then like a gooseneck. So this is the first time I've ever used these mics. These are brand new. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I think my philosophy on indie drums is to keep it simple, right? Add a little bit of vibe, a little bit of ghosting, not because I have limited capabilities on the drums. No, that couldn't be it at all. And also the SR20 LS on the kick drum. All right, here we go. I have everything mic'd up. I decided to add the uh, Earthworks vocal mic just on a hi-hat just because I had an extra input open, so why not? Uh, shout out to Jose Cables because they provide all the cables for all the stuff. So going to track it. I have this copied and pasted to go four times through. And hopefully I can just get it right after four times. But let's see what we got. Alright, no much for this part, just DI bass. Let's try it. I wonder how many people are like me where after the trauma of setting up microphone stands and recording drums, I need to go reward myself with like a little treat. So now I'm going to Starbucks to get a coffee and a vegan cookie because I'm a child and I feel like I've deserved it. All right, it's time to add some synth just because like, come on. So I'm just gonna have this kind of in and out. Uh, this is the Novation Summit. Really cool, again, I'm not micing this one up, but this is going direct in stereo. And uh, I'm just gonna try to try to tastefully do this and not overdo it. It's hard not to overdo synth stuff just cause it's like so fun, but we'll give it a shot. All right, I got the best vocal mic in the game right here. Uh, we're gonna hear what it sounds like on my voice. Probably gonna affect it up because it's the best. If you wanna see a, just a regular demo on a clean vocal, check out the video I shot with Hannah on this because she killed it. But yeah, this is the same vocal mic that Boyce Avenue uses and their stuff sounds the best of anything on YouTube. So I'm gonna try to make it sound good with myself. Is it reflex from an action? Or instinct in my blood? It draws me into friction That I find myself unknown From a seat of hesitation
Time's just energy It's set into motion Pointed way song shout out again to uh earthworks and sweetwater uh i've always known how good the sr 25s are i've used these on a lot of different things for a while now but uh I, I think that's the best drum drum take i've ever gotten so super impressed with like the clarity and detail of just how it all just fits together and uh again really loving the sr 314 which is uh amazing on vocals and also now hi-hats too so pretty much probably whatever you put in front of this is going to sound good so uh Thanks again to Performer Magazine, too, for giving me the opportunity to submit this song into their mixtape. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned because uh, I'll probably put this up online for streaming and stuff soon. And if you guys have any questions, I'll do a follow-up with uh, the mixing of it because I did use a new plugin for it for the first time. And uh, I'll probably talk about that coming up soon. So thanks so much for checking it out. I'll talk to you guys later.